Hey everyone, FPS Chasley here. Welcome back to Let's Play Subcommand Sea Wolf. This is Ocean Vilcha, and we have contact with a submarine here. So we are trying to determine if his course, CR20 is what we're looking for. If his course, scroll wheel doesn't work here. If his course is north ish or east ish, can't be west ish um, or south ish. So we're trying to figure out if he's going this way or this way. Uh, a good way to do that, um, well, first of all, one way to do that would just be spending a lot of time on this direction. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn to the north, east, northeast Come here. Zero, six, and now we're going to get some more data on this bearing. So the course change, what it does is just it narrows down the solution. It reduces the possible number of solutions. It's a good way to figure out in a short amount of time uh, a, a contact's course without having to spend a lot of time uh, on one bearing trying to get data so that's a good way to reduce your number of solutions is a, a course change here uh, that's not really the best reason there's got to be like a, a mathematical reason to prove it um, I don't know that reason maybe I will learn it at some point to share with all of you but uh, I think it's outlined in the manual actually with like lead lag they might talk about that in there so uh, check that out if you want more info on that but Changing course is a good way to figure out what a contact's real solution is. So what we'll do with the course change here is you'll get this. We'll have these lines of bearing here, and then with the course change, we'll get a different set of lines of bearing. So if this is the right course, all these dots will stay stacked up. But if this is the wrong course, with the course change, we'll get the dots either bending off to one direction or another. And that'll let us know that uh, we don't have the right course going on. So, um... It's kind of hard to explain without me just doing it. I'm sure you've seen me do it a few times with like where you have a, a straight stack on the dot stack here, but then you got stuff going off to the left or right. And uh, as you manipulate it, manipulate it, you'll get it so the dots all line up, and then that'll be. If you have like three course changes with lines of bearing, like you pretty much have, and you know like the speed, and the the bearing and stuff like that, like you pretty much have it like on lock. That's like what his solution is. If you have like three course changes and like all the associated lines of bearing with it at that point, so course changes are very good at nailing down what a solution really is. Especially if you don't have like wide aperture array ranging, like that's crucial. My friend was over here. We were catching up. I uh, just finished my second beer, and I haven't eaten anything too particularly solid since lunch. I had an apple around five hours ago or so, but that's not really that solid food. It's mostly water. <laughs> so let's just speed up time here. So we're this uh, mission has the potential to be the longest mission in subcommand thus far. Just by sheer virtue of the fact that um whoa. Oh, he went in my baffles. I was like I lost him. <laughs> so another reason I'm going to six zero and not just ninety is because I was gonna lose him in my toad baffles if I went to ninety. So we got him back over here, and now he appears to be moving parallel. So it looks like he was actually indeed on the easterly course. Well, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. No, it looks like I chose the right course here. That looks like to be what he's doing. Yeah, that's holding up pretty good. So let's get a firing solution ready here. We're ready to launch on this guy. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for a traditional old active torpedo. I'm going to start experimenting with passive torpedoes. Yeah, I don't know if I showed my loadout before this mission but I went all ham on the torpedoes here so we are ready to go assign target oh I gotta choose them here CR20 assign target to tube 1 ceiling 10 floor 1000 is fine depth run to 200 sounds good speed 55 run to enable 5000 yards active yes indeedy so 2500 yards that'll give us about a nautical mile and a quarter to find our target. Maybe we should go active at 4,000 yards. Um, they can find their targets pretty easily, but we're ready to launch here. Uh, I think odd numbered our port tubes. I want to launch from a starboard tube. Let's put one down here too. Um, we can. I'm just going to open the doors and. Ah, oh, shit. This isn't um, dangerous waters. You can't see which one is on which door. So I'm just going to go with. Uh, I'm going to assume the even here is a uh, port tubes, or starboard tubes rather. I want to launch from a starboard tube, I don't want to launch from a port tube. In the LA, the way it's organized is that 
it's in a vertical fashion, so it's much easier to deduce which one is port and starboard. I'm pretty sure even is starboard port is starboard tubes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go tube four here then. So we are cock locked and ready to rock here. Tube four flood. Um, countermeasures are not as effective in this game, so this should be an easy kill here. But yeah, so with the course change, if his course was going east, let me show you what it would look like. So we would have had something like this going on, and he would have had um right here. See, at, see as out, how it's angled like that. That tells you right there that you don't have the right solution. So let me just go back to what we had before because that was the right solution. <laughs> so yeah, this is what we got. That's the right solution right there. It just changed a little bit. It's not any kind of significant amount. So this looks a lot more confusing, but um, all you have to do is flood the muzzle door. These are just like really little control loops that they just show through here that don't really mean anything. Man, we're launching a weapon. We are launching a fucking weapon. The default RTE should be good enough, so launch. Launch tube four. Aye, sir. Should be starboard. Shit, that was a port tube. God damn it. Oh, this isn't like dangerous waters where it actually comes out of full speed. It has to get to speed first. That's not right. <laughs> it should come out of full speed. Alright, so starboard is uh, odd number tubes. That is not the way I would have organized it. See, I would have come down here from the vertical fashion and then tilted to the right. But it looks like they came down and tilted to the left. It's odd. So I guess one and two are the top tubes. So this is top port, top starboard. That's not really intuitive to me. So this guy should be juicing it up here very shortly. Yeah, he just he just juiced it up. Do you see that? He's making big turns now. He's making holes in the water. Yeah, he's making big turns. <laughs> Top speed should be 20 knots submerged, but he knows that torp is coming for him right off the bat. The CPU has the advantage that they can tell that a lot more quickly. Okay, they got their top underwater speed is like 17 knots here. The Kilo Advanced might have a, uh, or the Kilo Improved might have a higher surf uh, submerged speed. Yeah, Kilo SS um, Home, uh, Russia Kilo imp Kilo Improved. They even they don't even model Kilo Improved in this game, so. His maximum submerged speed is 17 knots. Has he turned? Okay, that's me picking up my torp. I believe that is my torp. It doesn't sound like a torp. It sounds like a freaking fishing boat. That might be a fishing boat, actually. Frequency scale, zoom out. Display signature, none. No, that's just my... We got the fishing boat, and then my torp is coming out right here onto the toad there. Sphere. Yeah, we're picking him. Oh, we were actually getting him on the sphere. Now we're getting him big time on the sphere. <laughs> oh yeah, there's that torp. Um, he can run away all he all he likes at this speed. He's not catching. He's not running from this. It should be fine. Um, so I'm assuming he's going to be doing something like this now. Oh, zoom out. He's going to be running like someone like that now, probably. Should not be a problem for our torp to deal with. Except, like, that's not really what I'm seeing with the the broadband trend here. Where would he turn if not away from the torp, though? Well, the fact that he was going parallel before, now he's turned away. Could just mean he's going parallel with another respect now. Oh, did this go active? Is it locked on? No, I think it's snaking. All right, so we launched at 477 up to 200. No, it appears to be locked now, pretty good. Yeah, it's locked. No longer snaking, good and locked. We got our kilo on bearing 108, 110. I got him on 115, so my solution is wrong. So he's more like that. Zoom out, 17 knots, more like this. So there you go. A little more this way, even. Oh, tomorrow's the launch of Orion. I can't wait. Tomorrow morning, 0700 Eastern Standard Time. I'm waking up early to make sure I eat breakfast and catch all that shit, because that's going to be fun. Yeah, it looks like we got a good lock. Um, countermeasures don't really work too well in this game. Has anyone else responded to this launch? Who's this? Fishing boat. There does not appear any to be anyone of consequence in the area. There's this over here. Who's this guy? Who's that guy? 
uh, I don't know who this is, a trawler. That trawler just came out of my toad baffle, so all the warships seem to be, they seem to have vacated the vicinity here. So this guy appears to be getting locked on there. I don't know where this dude is running from. So we're getting WAA on the torpedo. <laughs> NWAA. So uh, we got 9,000 yards. So that solution's pretty good, you know. Um, closing fast. We got uh, 1,500 yards between them. 0.75 nautical miles. Uh, drawing tools. Area circle, 0.75. So that kilo, yeah, he's right around there, except when we're up this way. So yeah, we're going to get a good hit on this Mark 48, it looks like, here. First engagement of the war. Um, we still have a long way to go to Xville. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to spend on this mission if we're not really picking up anyone else. We shall see, but we're getting some great acuity right now. This is just perfect. I, this is like the blackest of black in terms of sonar broadband I've seen in a while. But yeah, we're going to get a hit. On this kilo soon enough here. He's kind of juking around trying to dodge my crab, it looks like. Or maybe that torpedo just went through a countermeasure field, maybe. 8,000. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's gaining as quickly as it should be. Who knows what's going on here. 1,700. He's running at some weird oblique angle. Whoa. That can't be right. Oh, he might have straightened out without me realizing it here or something. There's no way in hell that's what's going on. Uh, oh, hello. Alright, what do we got? Oh, I feel like I'm hearing the kilo. I hear it. I'm picking, I can hear the bass in my headphones. If we overshoot it, we miss the kilo. I was just hearing that you can like hear the 3D sounds of the ship if you're close to it, and I was hearing it. Did we miss the kilo? I'm not familiar with the the, the torque. Oh shit! There you go. Bam! Nice. Yes. Got him. Hell yeah! They don't even have names for him. It's just kilo one. Boom! Nailed it. Got him. Hell yeah! Oh yeah, ships do not sink very well in this game. They come down to like two knots as they're sinking. It's not like dangerous waters where they reach like a hundred knots on the way to the bottom. All right, let's close that tube up. Yes, got him. <laughs> yeah, the sinking is not very realistic in this game. Sierra twenty, drop. Haven't done that in a while. Haven't dropped a sunk contact in a while. And now the water's saturated. Very good. Five knots. Proceed to exit area. Maneuvering eye. Very good. I'm going to 16 times it here. Ah, it's been a while since I've done that. <laughs> Feels good. Feels good. Get that first kill. Get your sea legs going again. Load them up with a Mark 48. There you go. It'd take forever to freaking sink. Not at all realistic. As soon as they get any extra ballast on board, they're going down pretty quick. Okay, we got a faint contact over there. It's being consumed by this trawler here. Or whatever this is. I want to see who that is. Who's the faint contact? Just utterly consumed. There was something there. Well, if I want to turn, how do I want to turn to make that reciprocal kick out? I want to turn this way. Come right to course so let's go this five, way and try and six, get that reciprocal to kick out on this fishing boat here so I can try and see that freaking whatever that faint contact was. What was that? A little hint of a faint contact there. Whatever it is, it seems to have disappeared. So maybe I've just been wasting my time. Where are these pings coming from? West. Just one set pinging right now. Seems to be pretty distant. Oh, hello. Who is that? I don't even know if I'm seeing that faint contact. This could still be getting washed out by... 
this. I'm gonna mark it up though. Con sonar. I have a new contact. Okay, I'm gonna mark on this Zero, one. Four, five, designated Sierra, two, one. I mean, I already have a mark on him. I already had a mark on him. Drop Sierra 2-2. Two, two. I don't care about that fishing boat. So what do we just got? We just got Sierra 2-1. Where's the reciprocal? Oh, that appears to be... Well, who knows? That's an old solution. Sierra 2-1. We've had Sierra 2-1. 307. Who's this guy over here then? Who's Tracker I? Master One. Oh, just picking a Master One. That's all. Okay. Steady on course. One, five. Uh, resume six, waypoint five. follow then. Yeah, keep moving on towards the exit area. I'm tempted to gun it up to two thirds just for the sake of wanting to get out of here. So we got one sub. What else we got going on here? Fishing boat. None. Fishing boat. Carriage. Yeah, that's that one guy. Kata. Hiding off to wherever. Which one was there? I think this one was the real one here. It's faint. Just dropping off there. So we only have real t two real contacts right now going on. ETA to Xville, 246. So that we're looking at 11 minutes to get there, 16 times speed. Well, that's not going to happen in this episode. <laughs> Unless I juice it up to like. What is CR21 doing down there? I see him dancing around like crazy on the nav map. Crossed over. I think CR21's the real one here. This carriage. We could take a peek. Stream the floating wire, see what's good. See what's Gucci, man. <laughs> uh, very tempted to kick it up to two thirds here. But I still wouldn't be able to finish this mission in one episode. Oh, someone started pinging again. Trawler. Yeah, very faint contact, just derping around out there in this fishing boat. Man, these guys are so loud. They're like keeping up with me. This trawler and this fishing boat. They're like heading. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who the hell is that? Where the hell did he come from? Just came out of nowhere. Was he in my baffles the whole time and I just happened to like go right underneath of him? Seems that way. Let's go to periscope depth. Oh. Uh, that is, he just came from nowhere, dude. I did not have him anywhere on here. He had to, I had, he had to have just been in my baffles that whole time, and then he just came out of it all of a sudden. That is totally bizarre. That is so odd. What bearing would I be looking for him at? I don't even know which one's the real one, but around my stern, my baffles. It's around 260 is what we're looking for here with that one. Uh, raise the scope. Two six zero. That appears to be a warship off in the distance, and yeah, he did just come out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, what else we got around here? Anything of interest? Something off this way. Some warships. Sixteen times scope would be really nice. Looks all clear. Back down we go. I'm juicing it up to two thirds, man. I don't know if I'm... Yeah, it's down. Thank you, cow. <laughs> Chief of the watch. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Got three contacts on the sonar, and they're all fishing boats of some sort. All some kind of fishing boat. So nothing I even care about. Whoa, hello. Who are you? Shit. All ahead one third. Hell my. I'll, I'll stop. stop. No, not I'll stop. <laughs> three knots. Victor three, you call three it. Knots. Maneuvering eye. Shit, man. Oh, here's the real one. We got the WA over here. Sonar. I have a new contact. Bearing. I'm gonna pay attention to your spherical boy. 
designated Sierra two three con sonar. Oh well, crap! We got a freaking Victor coming out of the woodwork. This is we're trying to call this a mission here. Sierra two four. Uh, what do we got here? Range circle. Yep. Sonar. Torpedo in the oh water. fuck! Bearing. Oh Zero, shit! Eight, oh five. god! Snapshot. Give me a snapshot on that bearing. Assign. Uh, shit. Snapshot. What am I trying to do? Snapshot. Assign. One one two. Is that right? Is that bearing one one two. Range circle. One one two. Yes, it is. One two two. One two two. Um, go enable. 4,000 yards, 5,000 yards, all good. Uh, launch this bad boy. Get him out of there. Uh, all ahead two-thirds. Reel in the toad. Retrieve the starboard toad array. Um. Helm I. All ahead two-thirds. Helm I. All right, hurry up. Come on now. Come on now. I don't even know if I have realistic reload times on or any of that crap. Get that bad boy out of there. Launch tube one. Aye, sir. All right. He's out of there. Close that shit. Lost the wire. Tube one. Get the fuck out of here. All ahead standard. All ahead standard. Get, oh my god, he fucking found us, I'm being lazy. That two-thirds is getting me, man. Alright, take her down, take her down. Alrighty. Oh shit! Owned! What did he, did he launch a rocket torp? Oh, I got owned by a squall. That fucking squall. Ah, there's a capard. There's an Akula around. Son of a bitch. The one time I get lazy. The one time I get lazy, it bites me in the ass. Ah. <sighs> All right, well, I'm, I'm gonna have to kill that kilo again next time. Shit. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>